I'm going to try to get through this as best as I can uh, based on my last video um, people are probably looking for specifics on the GoFundMe account and what what's going on with uh, with Aaron and my ex and my narcissistic family so about a month ago I was served with foreclosure papers for the house in New Jersey the house my name was supposed to come off of in the divorce decree and was supposed to be refinanced out of my name well apparently that never happened apparently the mortgage hasn't been paid since the day the divorce was finalized when I called them when I called the law for his handling the foreclosure they informed me that yeah my name hadn't been taken off I was still fully on and I'm still the primary signer on the mortgage I was then told that my ex-wife was trying to go through some kind of uh, loan modification. Okay, well, I didn't put two and two together at the time. Yesterday, I called, I'm sorry, two days ago, I called for an update to the law office to find out what was going on. And I was informed that my wife was approved, my ex-wife was approved for a trial modification, which then it dawned on me, well, how did she get a trial modification without my signature? Because I haven't signed anything. I asked who the mortgage company was handling this, and I was told it was a company called Caliber Home Loans, who I have never heard of before. I've never dealt with, I've never heard of, I never knew they were exist, they even existed. It's not a knock on Caliber, it's just I never heard of them. You know, there's how many mortgage companies. So I called the number and you can't get through to anybody without a social security number um, and I'm figuring well how am I gonna get through I don't know my ex-wife social security number well let me put in mine there's no way they have my social security number put in my social security number and then they wanted the zip code of the property address and there it was an account in my name with caliber home loans with all the options, make a payment, check balance, everything. Oh, I'm like, how is this possible? Chose to spoke to an agent, an agent got on the line. I explained who I was, what the situation is. At first she thought, well, if it was, if it was ordered to her in the divorce decree, she might not have needed your signature. And I'm like, it wasn't ordered, it was an agreed upon, as long as she took my name off and she had 18 months to get my name to refi the house. So that never happened. I'm still the primary signer on the original mortgage. So how is this possible? Like how, how could this happen? She said, let me let me get my man, let me get a manager and, and pull your file and verify. She left and came back in five minutes and said, can you hold the line for, for a little while? Because we really need to look into it. So I told him to take all the time you needed, all the time you needed. I was on hold for a good 35 to 40 minutes and she came back in a completely different tone of voice. And she said, Matthew, are you sure you didn't sign this modification, this mortgage modification agreement? I'm like, I've been living in Fort Lauderdale in South Florida, in Fort Lauderdale, for about five years now. I haven't spoken to my wife and my ex-wife in probably nine months. And since moving down here, I think I've maybe spoken over three or four times. Never about a modification, nor did I ever sign any, nor do I even know anything about you people. She's like, well, we have a problem because there is a signed mortgage modification letter with your, with your parents' signature and your ex-wife's signature on it. I'm like, well, I didn't sign it. As soon as they said it, I knew who signed it. I knew who signed it, it was my father. So, they, she told me that this was going to be referred to immediately as fraud. The modification was gonna be canceled and you pretty much expect to, uh, that I should file a police report for forgery because there will be criminal, there could be criminal charges pending. So at that point, I texted my mother, drunky the fuck clown. Caliber Home Loans, it's over. I warned you not to sign my name on anything. 
no boundaries ever. This is exactly what my YouTube channel is about. Now there's going to be severe consequences, I'm sure, for everyone involved. I sent that text at about 5 o'clock, 5 p.m. At 7.05 p.m., I get a response. No one has signed your name to anything. That's the mortgage company that bought the mortgage from the bank in a batch buy. I replied back. I spoke to the company. They have a form with my signature on it. They already referred it to their fraud, fraud department. This isn't a joke. Caliber Home Loans. I was with them on the phone for 40 minutes. They confirmed my signature was on the modification. It has nothing to do with a, with a back buy. I was the primary signer on the mortgage to begin with. How does she, meaning my ex-wife, expect to get a modification without my signature? This is serious. He can't lie his way out of this one. There's proof by he, my father, because I'm already, I know who signed it. Somebody forging, forging somebody's name on bank paperwork is a federal crime. Five to 30 years plus a million dollar fine. All Kerry did was apply for a modification no one signed your name. I thought you wanted this mortgage off your back. I'd rather you have your, you, I guess you'd rather have your daughter on the street. Your father didn't sign your name. Well, why would my daughter be on the street? Well, first of all, even if I wasn't going to try to get custody of her, why would my daughter be on the street when you live five blocks away from her and you have two properties? So why would, so if you still love my daughter so much and you care about Aaron, so much. Why would she be out on the street? Again, they have the paperwork. She's already paying a modification. Didn't you know that? They definitely signed my name. They already referred it to their fraud department. Their fraud department is calling me to confirm I did not sign the modification. What don't you understand? That was the last text of that day. I got up super early the next day called back Caliber Home Loans and asked for a copy of the modification agreement. They faxed it right over to me within an hour. Caliber Home Loans. This is a mortgage agreement. As you can see, amounts, dates due, and the acknowledgement on the back, here's your acknowledgement page. And there's my, my father signing my name. That is absolutely my father's handwriting. He writes with his left hand. That's why all the letters go to the right side because it was written by a lefty. That is my father's B, that is my father's S, that is my father's H. As you can see, it was signed on May the 24th of 2015. Now, just to give you some example of my actual signature, I will show you the actual signature. That's my actual signature. Notice the lettering goes back into the left because I write with my right hand. Notice the M, notice the difference. That's mine. That's the forgery. This is the forgery. Look at the M, look at the B, look at the distinctive way the letters are spelled out. I have been signing my name like this, like this, for 20 years. Look at how I make my M. Look at the difference in my B. I've never wrote out my, my last name, basically because I'm ashamed of it, but that's the deal. That's my real signature. This is my father's signature. And it's obviously not my ex-wife's signature because look at, she's also right-handed. All the lettering goes back into the left. My father's left-handed, the lettering goes to the right. Obvious forgery. 
So I then text the picture to my mother. Well, you're not going to be able to see that. I then text the picture to my mother with, that's your husband's signature. This is over. She then, I text her that at 12.05 p.m. At 4.32 p.m., I get this response. That is not daddy's signature. In fact, it looks just like yours. What difference does it make anyway? The house was given to Carrie in the divorce. So if she wants to modify the mortgage, she can, except your name is on the mortgage. I thought you wanted to be off that mortgage. No. You'd rather have Aaron thrown out in the street again. You think she hates you now? Just wait till that happens for sure, and she will have nothing to do with you. Well, aren't, isn't the narcissist very good at telling you exactly what they're about? So you want to keep this mortgage? Good for you. What are you going to pay it with? That, that paper was only an ink. That paper was only an income verification form for Kerry. There was no fraud and you're not allowed to have. I don't know. Besides, Kerry said you told her she could sign her name and you want nothing more to do with the mortgage. She swears on Aaron. She swears Aaron on Aaron, you said this. Please leave me alone. Stop calling, texting, and stay off my Facebook page. You are dead to me. Which I replied, the mortgage is over. I just got off the phone with fraud, which I had, and they are canceling. How could I have told Kerry she could sign it if I haven't spoken to her in months? I had made it clear nothing was to be signed in my name. I have text messages to the effect. You can try to scare me off, but you can't. And why would Aaron be in the street? You have two houses. Because it's not about Aaron. It never has been. You're a phony, a liar, and now you're caught. Your husband will be a convicted felon, as will carry. And this isn't an income, verif an income verification. It's a modification agreement. If you're going to lie, at least know I have the information in my possession. All I wanted was my kid. You people wouldn't allow it. You all have no one to blame but yourselves. Do you still think I'm a child? Your lies will... Your lies will not get you out of this one. And if I gave Kerry permission to sign it, why did it take you a day and a half to finally come back with that excuse? You're a poor liar. How long do you think you'll be able to hold up on the witness stand without falling apart? You're an idiot. You always have been. You always will be. All you had to do was stay out of my relationship with my daughter, but you wouldn't allow it. I needed to be punished for getting a divorce. You're getting exactly what you deserve now. I warned you yesterday about karma. And again, I will warn you, if you lie to the police, they will charge you. This is irrefutable evidence. And tell Kerry never to swear on my child again over a lie. You people are just disgusting. I then sent her a picture of how I actually signed my signature. That's how I signed my signature for the last 20 years. I'm right-handed, so my lettering goes back and to the left. Daddy is left-handed, so his writing goes to the right. Another example of not being respected for what I do for a living. Again, we've all dealt with that. They don't respect anything we do. You are a pawn to them. You are a tool to them, as is your children, as is your possessions, as is everything in your life is not to be respected. The signatures aren't even close. That's what the fraud department said. And the fraud department did say that's when I spoke to fraud. They originally wanted either a copy of, if I knew, if I had a copy of my father's signature, and they wanted a driver's license. And then she said, wait a minute, I'm looking at your original signature on, on the mortgage page. And she's like, I don't even need it. It's that far off. It's not even close. And are you seriously going to make Kerry take responsibility for signing this when it's clearly dead, daddy's handwriting? And you may want to reread your own text messages. First, it was a batch buy from the mortgage company. 
Then nobody signed my name. Then it was an income verification. Now a day and a half later, I gave her permission. This is a joke. And it's an example of the narcissist epic entitlement. It's an example of the narcissist being able to say whatever lie they want at the time and hoping it sticks to the wall. It is a perfect example of the narcissist epic entitlement. So at this point, I am left with no other alternative but to have to file for full custody of Aaron because there is a very good possibility and in New Jersey especially, they take more income modification seri income mortgage modification fraud real seriously. And you wouldn't think it would be that serious it's the modification. And no, they're arresting people for forging pe uh, forging the spouse's name on an income on a mo on a mortgage modification because this is bank paperwork. This falls under federal banking regulations. And here's the friggin' sad part about the whole thing. I would have signed it. All I would have wanted was access to Aaron. But they knew that. And they didn't want me to have that type of leverage on them. They, and as minimal as possible, as minimal as possible, not come live with me, not give me full custody. Let me talk to her. Stop ignoring me. Because there are no restrictions on my custody. No, I couldn't even have that. The narcissist thinks they are so smart and thinks you're so ineffectual that they can do whatever, do and say whatever they want to you. You don't matter to the narcissist. You're not a person to the narcissist. The narcissist can sign your name, use your social security number, commit bank fraud, poison your children, get involved in your personal life because you don't matter to the narcissist. You don't count to the narcissist. Only the narcissist counts. And my daughter sure as shit don't matter to them because why would my parents could buy that house outright easily? Easily. If, 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 they, if, if, if my ex is really in that much, they could buy that house outright and not have to deal with this income, not of this mortgage modification Bullshit. Bullshit. No, they want to string it along because it carries out the game in their head. It continues to punish me longer. I'd have given them the signature. I'd have given it to them. And again, why would Aaron be out on the street? You're this loving grandparent. You're going to go to the... You're going to go... To the, to the point where you're forging my name on loan paperwork, basically opening up a loan in my name where I'm the primary carrier now. I'm the, pri I'm the primary signer on that house. In my name, and now I'm the jerk? I'm the jerk? No. I was told that as well by, by my fucking jerk-off brother, that I'm a jerk-off that I'm crazy, and they kept calling me crazy, and insane, and you're out of your mind. I have the paperwork, like, where am I out of my mind here? But that's what they do to you. How many of you have been called crazy, and insane, and nuts, and this, because it just invalidates you immediately. Immediately. So I've had to start a GoFundMe campaign, because I spoke to a lawyer, and every lawyer now you know, because a backup in New Jersey, I'm in Florida, it's a $5,000 retainer, which, quite frankly, I don't have. But my ex-wife and father are about to be arrested, and I need to save my daughter from that before any of that happens. The ethics complaint on, on, the, on the therapist is going slow as it always does in New Jersey. You know, it's under investigation. We'll see what happens there. But another example of the narcissist epic entitlement over you, over your life, over your decisions, over your children, over your possessions, over your social security number, over your signature. And then they lie and lie and tell one lie after another, after another, after another. It is unbelievable. I'll also be uploading 
the conversation I had with my mother on the phone. It's very short, but you can hear her lies for herself. You can hear her panic for herself. And you can hear her try to absolve herself, saying, I knew nothing about this. Daddy didn't sign it. And I'm like, so you're throwing Kerry under the bus? So now you're going you're gonna to try to push it all off on Kerry to save your husband's fucking ass from fucking jail. Disgusting. And this is what I warned my ex-wife about. If you get involved with these people, they're going to get you into a situation you can't get out of, i.e. the mortgage, the house, and now pending criminal charges. Okay? At least now I have something to show the family court to say they are committing felony bank fraud now in order to keep my kid away from me. Something that it might actually might actually view as detrimental to the child, because that's all they care about other than child support. Other than child support, you know, the best interest of the child. So if, if my ex-wife is about to be arrested, I don't know how living up there with these narcissists and these abusers is in the best interest of the child. So I'm going to put the link to the GoFundMe page in this video as well. Anything you can give a dollar would be greatly appreciated. But those of you who have been with me from the beginning know my story, you know my struggle. And my wife said this could be the best thing that ever happens. And I know Aaron's going to hate me, but she pretty much does already. Um, but I got to save her from this. So I need your help. Whatever you can give, I appreciate. Uh, look for my next video. Um, I'll be posting the phone call. I'll also be making some more videos. Um, the political stuff as well, because I know a lot of you love the political stuff. And I think I'm going to do that on my political. I'll, I'll upload them here and then put them on my political channel as well. Generation X politics, which I haven't been able to, I just haven't been able to get it off the ground yet. But with this election season, the questions I'm getting, it seems like a lot of you really enjoy the political stuff as well. I'll be talking about that. Thank you for watching. This is Alan Matthews, and I'll see you all again real soon. Thanks. Bye.